Okay, the game name is First Band Brand. And, um, <laughs> Wowix. Uh, I, I know. Ban Wukong, Ban Zin, Ban Jace. Ban. Ban Jace Zin Wukong. Sup. With the bands. Um, someone wants to save those bands real quick and then repost them in the Twitch chat in a minute. You would be, like, super awesome. It's game one of the finals. The best of three finals. Dominion.com League Legends Dominion Tournament number 34. Pays them on child support versus Cheese Enema. Follow Dominate Dominion on Twitter. At Dominate Dom. Go like him on Facebook. The Feedski loves likes. You click that little thumbs up button. He's so happy when you do that. Facebook.com slash Dominate Dominion. Go check out my gaming clan. It's Vato Clan on YouTube. It's youtube.com slash Vato Clan. Um, I do... I put some VODs here. I do some other Dominion commentaries where I talk about, like, items and things like that and a little podcast-style thing. And you can follow my gaming clan on Twitter at Vato Clan. And if you want to see the games from previous tourneys and past events, you can go to the... Uh, Dominate Dominion it has a YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Dominate Dominion. And um, my YouTube channel also has games from previous tournaments as well so if for some reason you can't find them on the Dominate Dominion channel go check out mine I might have it I'm like a backup channel seeing Pantheon getting banned seeing Tebow get banned seeing not enough little red ribbons I hear there's a green one I've never seen it I don't think it exists I think it's a hoax man it's like the Chupacabra. Same Kha'Zix ban. Got to get the raid out. Get rid of the... Uh, wait, the button. I need the buttons. Ah, the buttons. Look at... Look at look, guys, look. Look. No, not that. That's wrong. There we go. I fixed it. I got it. It's good. I'm learning to overlay. It's cast and getting banned. Talon getting banned. The in-game chat channel, by the way. It's Dominate Dominion. You can see it right here. Oh, it's got a whole bunch of people in it. You want to know how to join that chat channel? You go over here. You click on your your your, uh, your your chat rooms and control panel thing. You click the button to create or join a chat room. You go in here and you type in Dominate Dominion. And you hit enter. And then you go over to here and you be like, Sup, dudes. And we be like, Oh, hi. And then everyone is so happy. It's that easy. And then you're in a channel with like a hundred and something of us. People know what's up. Watch the stream. Ah, I can't spell. Bam. That, that, that is a comma and someone's gonna cop paste and be like, it doesn't work. Use a, I, I can't spell guys, sorry. See that comma? I see you, beef jerky hunter. Comma OP, everyone says. Damn it, I can't spell correctly. But you get the idea. Dominate Dominion is the chat channel on North America server. You can come and hang out with us, learn how to be good at Dominion, play with other people that play Dominion, 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 Dominion. Dominion. That's when you put too many O's in it. <laughs> Hasn't been made yet. I need someone who's not me to do it. Uh, so Infeed's picking up Eve again! Pays Evelyn child support using Evelyn. This is recent. For the first 20 or so tournaments, they didn't use Eve. Now they're using Eve. Living up to their name. They gotta win that RP. And we're seeing Darius. Played or picked at least by Brown Bruiser. And we're seeing Rumble. And uh, Lurch plays Rumble. He's a really good Rumble player. Generally, we only see Rumble come up when Lurch plays him, and he's he's good. He's he's had some sick equalizer use in tournaments. Painkiller gets a Moomoo! I'm scared! Someone's totally screwed, and they don't know it yet. Painkiller is an excellent Moomoo player. There was once a tournament game where he did not miss a single banish toss for the entire game. And then there was that one game where he missed like eight in a row. So, it, he's, it, it's, it's still scary. He's going to banish toss you. Just assume he will banish toss you. Panzers has Ezreal. Ezreal is like quantum physics because you don't know where Ezreal is going to be at any one time, but you know exactly what he's going to do to you. 
It's one of those kind of things. And they are going to lock in those two champions. Now let's see what Half Hard and Wowix get. Brand was banned. Half Hearted doesn't have anything to play. What does he play when that gets banned? Come on, bring the Wrath out. I want to see that. That'd be really cool. Wowix, that's a new champ. Do you know what you're doing? Get to ride the wave to victory. Zyra! This is Captain Planet. We got like Lurch with the fire, and we got Zyra with the with the earth, and we got Wowix with the water. That's how this works, right? And then um we've got Darius with the hate? No, that's Captain Pollution. It's different. Wow, it's Soda! I wonder which kind of Sona he's going to play. Oh, you root for Enema? Full Enema? Well, yeah, I root for Root. That's what's up. That's how you do it. Jax! Being highlighted there. What about Buddha Rice? I don't think we'll see Vayne. I mean, we already have Ezreal. Buddha Rice is known for having some- Mordekaiser is not Vayne! In fact, those don't even have the same letters in them. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. You scared me, man. So we're gonna see Renekton again! We haven't seen a lot of Renekton play. What is this? Why is Renekton so popular all of a sudden? Somebody answer me this. Morgan and Vayne both have E. Well, I guess. I guess it's true. What is Krog going to pick? I don't know. Look, I know Krog Lurch gets Rumble, and I don't know what their other champ is. We will find out. We're going to learn together, guys. Yorick. We have not seen some Yorick play in a while. Yorick was permaban stats for quite a long time, but he's a little bit more figured out. Uh, Renekton has percent shred on his E, so he can get even more value from Cleaver stacking. Thank you, Cauldrath. Once played on a team called Focus Cauldrath. I remember that. That's what happens when you do statistics. You know really weird stuff. Like people that only played once and things. He's played more than once. He used to play on a team. I forget which one it was. Which is bad of me. Um, Alright, so we're seeing some trades going on here. Oh, I got screenshot the screen. Oh my gosh. Bam. Got it. Getting it. Doing it. This is DominateDominion.com, uh, the Legends Dominion Tournament number 44. This is the finals. This is game one. This is Pex versus Cheese. This is Payzone and Child Support versus Cheese Enema. And, oh my god, this resolution. What the hell is this? It's so good. Sorry, I was looking at my screenshot resolutions. Oh man, it's so good. Volandum. Volandum had a team too, and I liked that team a lot. Okay, so, let me look at what's really going on. What were the chat bands? Because I don't remember now. Because they're not on the screen. Because I don't have the thing that shows them. I'm sorry about that. I didn't get that. That who's he what what beforehand. But, uh... So we ban Pantheon because he's durable. He has a, like, a full map gap closer practically. And he's got some, he's got some pretty solid burst. Kha'Zix can jump over most of the walls in here with Evolved Leap. And does a lot, does a lot of damage. Talon is... Why are there so many Talon bans all of a sudden, guys? Does, like... Does he have, like, some sort of glitchy super thing with Black Cleaver that I don't know about? Because Talon wasn't really getting picked or banned before, but now it's, like, banned Talon. Bane Talon. So Talon gets banned because he's bursty, and has a silence, and I don't know. I don't know why he's banned. Timo gives great map control with the mushrooms. There's a poison and a blind, and blind is good. Because... If you can't see, then, yeah, you can't you can't do anything if you can't see. And Kassin is extremely mobile, has a good silence, does a lot of damage. And Urgot is a, he's got good range, he's durable, and he can be alive. That about sums it up. There's something else to Urgot. Urgot's got the corrosive charge, which means he can connect with, if he lands that, then he's just going to unload on you with missiles, and it's going to hurt a lot. So you got to watch out for that. Terror Capacitor makes him resistant to harass. Suppress is good. Things like that. Renekton is durable, does a lot of damage, works well at Black Cleaver, 
Painkiller Amumu. Amumu's got a lot of really good control, does a ton of AoE damage. Jax has a fair initiate. He's got a great AoE stun and does a lot of damage. His damage just kind of runs away late game. Eve's bursty and mobile. Ezreal is not quite where you think he is, and then you die. He also has a global interrupt with the True Shot Barrage. Does a lot of damage. Good dude to have. Darius doesn't care about defense. He just does true damage. He's also durable. Durable and delay is sort of the name of the game in Dominion. You want to get on a tower and you want to hold on to it and you just want to chill. You just want to be, it's just want to, I'm going to hold on to this. It's fine. As long as you're up in towers, you can just like lose trades all the time as long as you're not losing your tower. And it works out just fine. Now, Rumble is durable and has sub. He just he does good damage and equalizer is great. It's, it's really good. It shuts down like a whole half of a tower. And it's got a really good long range too. Zyra is disruptive. And just, she zones so hard. Sona is an excellent support champion. She can also do fair damage. And Yorick's good bottom laner. She's got good sustain. He's got really good harass with the ghouls. He can harass for a safe distance. I don't think I missed anything, guys. I don't, I don't think I missed anything. There you go. So that's what's up. LeBlanc got a new icon. Champion's got new icons. That's new icon. That's new icon. That's new icon. That's a new icon because you didn't have an icon before, so technically new icon, and Brand got a new icon, and and no one else got a new icon, maybe. I don't know. Sereka's had that for a while. You can't fool me. Syndra? Has that been the same? Somebody changed Sins and Scions. Nobody plays Scion. Boop. Click the overlay for a second while the game screen transitions over... And this little screen will tell you exactly what's going on. DominateDominion.com is a website. This is game one of the finals. the best of three between Pays, Evelyn, Child Support, and Cheese Enema. It's Pepper Jack. And we're going to see... Dudes? Let's go over here. Whoa, there we go. Hitting that loading screen right there. We have Infeed playing as Renekton. Painkiller playing as Amumu, Panzer's playing as Jax, Captain Booberry playing as Evelyn, and Buddha Rice playing as Ezreal. Their powers combined form Pays Evelyn Child Support. Now, Brown Bruiser playing as Darius Lurch, playing as Rumble, Half Hard playing as Zyra, Wowix playing as Sona, and Crag playing as Yorick. Their powers combined give us Cheese Enema! It's Pepper Jack. That's unfortunate. Seeing Wowix with that so happy Sona right there. Why is the fight stick in that position? I. It's just so awkward. What is that? Maybe she's playing Beat Mania or something. I don't know. Load into the game right now. No one's moved yet. Oh, Evelyn moved. She has stealthed. Renekton has a. The game is sepia tone. So take this opportunity to talk about some things. Eve makes a good roamer. She can kill people, pick them off. And... I don't know. Usually I have Chober for this. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... I'm, we're gonna... We're gonna have a one side conversation. Okay. So, Renekton. I don't see a lot of Renekton. What do you think, Chobra? You're right. And his ultimate does give him that extra health, which I think could be really valuable, especially against Darius's true damage. I definitely agree. Amumu is also really useful in that sense, because Amumu deals percent damage, and that also sort of counteracts high health. Each team does have a champion that does a good job of sort of mitigating that. Damn it, Wowix. No Takoyaki Ginsu, I didn't break. We're waiting for Wowix to reconnect. I am broke though. I spent all my money and I'm like super in debt. But I've got a Dominion, and that makes me happy. Oh, this is gonna desync the game so bad. Pause time remaining. Uh oh, four, three, two, one. Desync game maybe. 
see, see, Takuyaki Ginsu, you missed the joke. I was, I was pretending to talk to Chobra because usually when I talk about the champions and what they're good at, what their strengths and weaknesses are, I bounce that off of my co-caster, and we kind of go back and forth because we have like a, a thing worked out. But now I don't have anyone for the other half of that, so it's like. When I don't know a champ, I'm like, what do you think of this? And they give a loose basic outline of it, and then I fill in the details once it, gets, once it makes sense in my head. And they do the reverse back to me. Stop spamming laugh, guys! You guys make me such unhappy when you do that! Let's go over here to people that know how to behave. Is the game decent? No, it's good. Okay. This game looks normal! Boots, pots, health crystals. Darius is spamming laugh. Good. Why is this bad laugh? It makes me so sad. I'm not that funny. If I was that funny, I would have my own network TV show, and then Fox would cancel it, or Jay Leno would take it away from me. Let's see how this goes. Battle has begun. We have DDR Sona, aka Arcade Sona. Well, okay, Arcade Sona, aka other pop culture reference here. She's got her AP aura up. It's dangerously 8-bit. I cannot plug my Nintendo into the wall because the AC adapter is too heavy. It falls out. And we're seeing a power mode gank down here at the bottom, Bruin! How is this gonna play out? Yorick, I'm what kind of painkiller missed with the bandage toss, unfortunately, but Ezreal was able to take the skill shot, put some damage in on Krag right away. There's an exhaust right there, and they're putting a lot of hurt on him. And Garrison goes down on the tower right away to heal it back up to full. But he's going to go down anyway, and Darius is gonna come down to the bottom. Sona recalled and got back into the fight. Yorick hit his revive and came back down there. The tower is going to garrison! No! Can't has is my tower. Painkiller, get back here. You see that grab right there. Darius pulling him in, getting him taken down. Sona Wowix picking up the double kill down there. Point defended. Three captures right now going on for Cheese Enema in the beginning of this game. That gank did not go terribly well. Bandage toss to minion. Stun on half hard, taking all of the damage. Deforestation? No, not quite. That's like some some plant abuse right there. Goes right behind there. Misses with a little rocket. Wow, it's coming around. Dudes. Shoots that little shot right there. And there we go. In with the stun right there. Connects with both of them. Blurs taking some damage. Wow, it's getting chased on out of the fight. Cat Booberry tries to disengage and go around and try and deal with Lurch instead. Gets Lurch down. Boob the Rice over the wall. Into Sona. Takes him down. Brown Bruiser's got something to say about that. He doesn't like blondes. Gets him. And Painkiller get back here. Darius is in control. On the bottom lane, however, Crag not so much in control of that tower. Surzel don't get cake. Interruption! Crag getting hit by that true shot barrage from Ezreal. Ezreal with the cross map, and that's one of the really good things about Ezreal, is his ability to stop people from capturing the points from a great distance. And that's so useful in this game mode, especially because he hit multiple targets. Wabix moving up to defend from that infeed coming in. Oh, double stun! Twice as effective as normal stun. Pops still a bit right there. Infeed is completely serious about this. Wabix is getting really, really low on health, is backing away from the fight, and infeed has to run from the ghouls, or he might get taken out. Barely survives. Ezreal pops up a shot to take down Sona and is going to get dunked on by Dunk Master Darius. Painkiller is going to get away. I don't know. Sona is getting a... I have no idea what Sona's getting. Good question. Captain Booberry coming around from the back. Half-hearted! Going to get eight! Maybe! Captain Booberry taking some tower damage, but the root has already been expended. Lurch coming in from the back. There goes the ultimate right there, but doesn't connect, but does a good job of zoning people away. Lurch burns Evelyn to the ground. Panzer's gonna back away. There's a new Aegis. I don't know the new items, guys. I'm so sorry. Just got back from a hiatus. Infeed and Crowd are having a discussion down there. A little bit of damage exchange, but nothing serious. You'll see there's a lot in the bottom lane. There's the two champions down there. We'll just kind of get into a little fight. They'll exchange some damage. They'll sort of threaten each other a little bit, but nothing big usually comes of it. We will see, though. You see that right there, dropping the stun. Backing away right there. Wants to get them low to create opportunities for games. And maybe, maybe Jax is right around there. We're going to see it. Panzers. Coming around from the back. Gets the stun off right there. Gets the leap strike. Gets the other stun. Take them down. Renekton didn't pick up the kill right there. Amumu. In the jungle. What's going on down here? Captain Booberry gonna unload on Wowix, get some shots. 
doing some damage right there. Panzer's trying to help him out as well. Turning their attention over to Lurch because they know that Lurch is far more dangerous than Wowix is. If he turns around, stuns, tries to interrupt and control Wowix to enable his teammates to take down Lurch and is successful in doing so and might get Wowix in the process. Captain Boo Berry is going to be able to get close enough to get him down with the hate spike. Go! Unfortunately, he is going to be able to retreat back on over to the tower right there. And Pace and Child Support doing a good job so far this game. There we go! That Ezreal! Buddha Rice firing off that true shot barrage. Two for one special up in the top lane. Him and Painkiller clean it up. Get the Windex, guys! Leave that streak free shine. Get that tower. Now they got that windmill buff on top of everything. Cat and Blueberry. Good. Doesn't look so good. Gonna fight with Crowd a little bit. Gonna try and kill him, but he decides to use that Omen of Death. I believe that is called, right? Yeah, that's what that's called. Decides to use that. Stay alive just a little bit longer. Wowix trying to keep him up. Panzer's going for him. Sees it. Gonna connect with him right there. Jax eating him up. He's one more hit and throws down the exhaust trying to seal the deal, but no! Not quite. Renekton's gonna pick up that kill. Wow, is able to connect with a stun on there. Wow, look at that damage on half hard there coming out from him. But Doris has something to say about that. Renekton denied right there. Buddha Rice got some minions. I belong in a museum. So does that tower. Let's see if we can get it. Darius got the decimate. Now we're gonna get it. See it neutral? Yes! Minions quite good, but Ezreal, I'm scared for you. Buddha Rice over the wall, right into Wowix, taking all of the damage. Very unfortunate right there. And that's how you handle Ezreal. You've got to be able to cut off his um, his arcane shift path. If you're gonna if you're gonna go out into the lane and you're gonna scare him, leave someone behind in the jungle so the arcane shifts out into someone. Like what just happened right there. Red team has captured the drill. Painkiller up above the tower. Dude to the jungle. Rumble in the jungle. Captain Blueberry's running around. What's going on down here? Stuff. What's going on over here? Stuff. Not sure how this is going to go. Cheese is doing a really good job of keeping together. But they're not really... They're in kind of a weird spot. They're sort of wedged in, but slowly. Paisel and Child Support is creeping around them. See Eve down there going for the Storm Shield, drawing them out. We got one down from the top. See Painkillers and Moomoo coming down. And how is this going to play out? Darius fights Painkiller. Painkiller right in the middle. Where's that cursed sad mummy? Hit that R key, maybe. He's going to go down, actually. He's going to get taken down. Now, Zyra had a really good ultimate right there. That Equalizer laid out in a very great position. Able to put out a lot of damage right there. And they're going to take that fight. Cheese Enema is going to win that. That was handled pretty well. Look at that split. Someone like going off to the top knows that everybody is dead. Right. There isn't, there isn't a good spot for that. So, Sona's splitting off to the top. You're not going to need two people to capture that one. When you just run over every member on their team like that, like that happened there. When you sweep a fight like that, break one off to one tower, break one off to their tower, pick up two towers. May the eye of Sauron watch over you. Get them Zyra plants right there. Very good for defense. We'll clean them up pretty quickly. Be able to turn that tower around. But it delays for those few extra seconds. Those few extra seconds are always important. Zyra has discovered an Evelyn. And Zyra is losing hit points really quickly. Gonna see one more hate spike. Yep. Got him with the hate spike. Eve's got a lot of hate. Oop, my mouse cursor. I'm sorry about this this map thing. I'm not used to the display. I, I have actually have this on my TV, so the the it's a little weird getting used to the size of the thing. Painkiller, there we go. Cursed the sad bummy. Doing a lot of damage right there, but Amumu just getting eight up there at the top. Cat Blueberry is behind. Pops out of stealth. This could be one Nox and Diplomacy. No, that's just a decimate away from disaster. Didn't even need the Nox and Diplomacy right there. It's a little scary. Buddha Rice firing that gun thing. He's got his gun arm. How's the bottom look? Stuff. I like this. Doing some damage. Slowly chipping away at that tower. And Feed might be able to get neutral off on it at some point. It's good. Is he going to turn it over? Yes, he does get the neutral off on. Now, is he going to try and commit to a fight here? He doesn't really have any backup. Krog doesn't either at the moment. Lurch is coming down. Infi not quite yet aware of that. Now, Krog's revealed himself. Is Infi going to turn around? Now that he sees him on the mini map, no, he's going to dive in. There, Lurch, Krog, Lurch down here at the bottom. Now, Infi's going to uh, just little trick of space right there. He's going to go for it. Now, he's going to chip in at Krog again. Wants to interrupt, wants to delay that tower. Coming down, almost taking Krog out right there. Great shot by Buddha Rice's Ezreal. Panthers and Painkiller up here at the top of the map. They're going to take that. They're going to get the cap in. See how they're spreading out up there so they can't both be interrupted at the same time. Should a big shot come out? 
Wow, what's happening? Come up there to chase him out. Panzer's getting a lot of capture time in the tower. Buddha Rice taking over the ship. Secured the point. Zyra able to get some damage in on that. Wowrex taking some hits. Good play there by Panzer and Shot Support. Staying, staying spread out. Breaking off one person. Have the other one start capping in order to keep it kind of, just kind of keep it rolling there. Good, good, good. Infeed, I'm scared for you. Use the ultimate right there. Might be able to get Lurch down. He's going to be able to. Yes! Got that Black Cleaver. Take it out, that Lurch. Half hard and Wowix heading down. Where are they going? Another Sona, hey! In the bottom lane. Infeed getting chased back away from the point. He doesn't want to deal with that. Look, Infeed's strong. Not quite that strong, especially not that long hit points with his ultimate on cooldown. Panzer's in the middle of the map right there. Looking around. What is he gonna find? Buddha Rice is like, what? Wow, that was could have been disasterific for Wowix, but no one no one found him. So it worked out fine. Middle of the map over here. What are we seeing? Nothing. Both teams are just kind of trying to find members of the other team. They want to pick someone off. They want to make an imbalanced engagement to kind of get the upper hand. Oh, wow. He thinks it's safe, but it's not. Lurch gets caught right there. and stun, 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 snare no matter what. Buddha Rice with True Shot Barrage unloading in on them. Brown Broods are going down. Wowix is going to be next, it looks like. Cat Blueberry staying right on him as he gets chased out of the fight. Half hour is being pursued relentlessly by Painkiller right there. Wowix might be able to get away. Are we going to see him take him down? Cat Blueberry picks up the kill. And Zyra dies as well. And now you see that split out. Brown Bruiser heading up straight for the drill right there. And now at the bottom, Panzer is going down for the bottom tower. Defensive Garrison was thrown down on, but is it going to be enough? Camera just got stuck for a moment. I'm sorry about that. It looks like they are going to be able to secure that. Is this point going to go neutral? No. Unfortunately. So that trade almost went kind of bad for them, but because of that garrison, they were kind of able to just pull it out. My voice is gonna hurt so bad tomorrow. This game is so good. You belong in a museum. Dang it, that's real. You keep hitting that sound bite. Take off your gun arm. Just like Metroid does. See him in the middle of the map right here, staying clustered up. That's pretty good. Usually. But in this particular game, if you stay clo clustered up like that, it leaves you really, really open to Jax's AoE stun. It leaves you really, really open to Curse of the Sad Mummy. So you've got to be careful of that. Oh my gosh, and also leaves you open to True Shot Barrage too, because if you do get locked down by that, and Eve has an AoE as well, very, very AoE heavy, and when you like to run a pack like you do when a Sona's around, it kind of leaves you open to that stuff. So you want to be careful of it. What's going on in the bottom lane? Infeed is fighting the final boss. Final boss happens to be Kraken, half-hearted, and things are not going terribly well for him. He does get taken down there, and Sona drops the stun. Darius goes right on in. Brown Bruiser taking so much damage right there. There goes the Equalizer, but everyone is able to get out of it okay. Misses the True Shot Barrage, unfortunately. That is alright. Curse the Sad, but we locked it down right there. Brown Bruiser, with the revive, gets right back into the fight. Turns right around, is able to pick up the kill on Amumu. And he might get Buddha Rice as well. Or he might get a free trip back to the Summoner platform. Zyra picked up that kill on Buddha Rice instead. And now, Half Hard taking so much damage right there. Panzers, is he going to be able to do it? Can he take down Wowix and Half Hard? No! Half Hard able to connect that Storm Shield. Proc, going to put in that extra damage that is necessary to take him down. And now Painkiller's over here by himself, and Painkiller can handle this. Let's see how much of a handle he's got on it. Whether he's got like a doorknob handle or like a lever handle. That shield proc was so good right there. And Painkiller having used his banish toss, he's not going to be able to get anywhere, unfortunately. Lurch! Turned red for a minute. But now he's normal. You feel normal. Fire, 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 rocking everywhere. Taking those minions down. And now people are just going to farm for a little bit. Both sides got kind of... You belong in a museum. Kind of, um... What's the word I'm looking you for? Belong in a museum. Both sides took a lot of losses. They kind of had to regroup a little bit from that point. Walking into the middle here. I'm kind of scared about this. Chasing down the... Pull the bit! Gets that after end, but pulls Painkiller with his AoE right in the middle of the fight there. And Painkiller is able to do quite a little bit of damage from that AoE and tantrum before he goes down. Lurch is going to get killed. Now it's got Panzers and Buddha Rice. So you got a ranged and a Jax. Jax, whose Grandmaster might has just worn out, unfortunately. And he doesn't want to get too close there because of Zyra. Zyra is going to be able to put a lot of damage in on him pretty quickly if he gets a care if he gets careless. Oh, uh, wow, it's right there. And there's the snare right there, but the counterattack doesn't expire. He's still able to connect the leap strike and take Zyra down. And he's able to dodge the passive shot as well. Buddha Rice coming in from behind. Let's see what happens to Wowix. Doesn't look good for him. Nope. Game over.
down here in the bottom lane, Lurch has lost this tower, but he is recovering it pretty quickly, and Infeed is going to have to go back as he is quite low on health. Red team has captured the boneyard. All right, Brown Bruiser hanging out in the bushes, wants to make sure no one's going to try and come for that drill, and no one is right now. Amumu in the middle of the map, hanging out. He's got control of this, which means he's got the vision of this area right here. We'll see what happens. Get Lurch over there, Brown Bruiser, Darius, and Rumble. Hanging out. Half hard is walking by. This could be disasterific, but no, half hard throws that down, but Painkiller goes right in with the banish toss over the snare. Does not get caught by it, fortunately. Looks like a gank being set up in the bottom lane. In feed down there, crowd over there. Brown is just moving up above him. No, Brown is gonna take out the single back lane. He's gonna go back to the top. Painkiller in there. Gets off a great curse of Sadly. Locks them down. Good stun in on Half Hard as well. Lurch comes up from the bottom. It's taken out very, very quickly. Brown Bruiser shuts Eve down. But that stun right there from Panzer's got that counter attack. Is able to get in, take him down. And now, sweeping that fight pretty handily. They're going to have an open shot at the drill if they decide to take it. But no, there's a ping going down on the minions. I don't quite know if that's the best way to go with it. Brown Bruiser is going to try and take that. But why would you? No, why would you? What? I. What? Did you have an arcade shift? I'm so sad. Down the bottom lane. Infeed is successful. He's going to try and dash away. He dodges the slow, just barely picks up the health relic. Is he going to get away? Unfortunately for Krawog, yeah. He made it out. Infeed is okay. And a Sona coming in from behind. Sona's got that Sheen proc ready to go, trying to light Infeed up. But Infeed pops it up and gets all that extra health right there and begins chasing Wowix, turning the tables on him. And Wowix is able to tap that speed try and Wowix moves just a little bit faster than Infeed does. So Infeed's gonna have to... Oh, gonna turn around over here to try and get this tower. Up at the top, however, Darius! Darius gets double kill. And it's good. And they're gonna get that tower. And... Ezreal misses Brown Bruiser. Brown Bruiser able to narrowly escape. Saw that coming in from across the map and just no, wasn't able to land, unfortunately. Cheese Enema able to pick up that tower, but... In the bottom lane, Pace Evelyn Child Support has control of the whatever that's called. Pretty sure it's the quarry. Infeed and Buddha Rice able to take down Yorick. That's done that chase right there. Really helping him out. Brown Bruiser can do a lot of damage if he's able to connect here. He's got the double black cleaver, boots of swiftness, warden's mail, long sower, giant's belt build. And it's doing him pretty well right now. Let's see a fight go on down here at the bottom lane. They've got to keep it. It's the Boneyard. Thank you, Zerzul. It's the Boneyard. True Shot Barrage. Put some damage in on Half Hard. And you see that. Using the Arcane Shift there to kind of tr offset the delay of casting the True Shot Barrage. Point is neutral down here. If they keep it for neutral for a little while, they might be able to make something happen in the upper end of the map by keeping those guys contained at the bottom part of the map. And being as committed as they are, you can see them turning blue. The drill being picked up by Eve. The windmill being picked up by Jax. And just three of them down there at the bottom to be a distraction, apply pressure to the point, and make them feel like they need to be down there responding to it. They were able to pick up two points up at the top while they fought over that one. And Pace on Child Support, able to take the game. We're going to game two!